that's because everybody's familiar, I think, with Ray McDonald's story when he was with the 49ers last year, had two domestic violence uh, charges or investigations. They stuck hung with him through the first and then the second one in December. They released him immediately. Now, on that one in December, it's been more than three months since those allegations, and the prosecutor's office has filed no charges. Nothing. Generally, they don't announce that we're not going to charge this guy. In the meantime, McDonald has sued the female in question, trying to prove that uh, he's not uh, associated with nefarious activity, as uh, Coach Polion has, has explained to me. But the Bears felt comfortable enough to go forward, sign him, reunite with the big fan, Gio, who was the 49ers defensive coordinator, to play that defensive tackle and nose tackle position. So the Bears, who need to upgrade their defense, get it with Ray McDonald. The league obviously will, will – uh, review this. It's important to remember that the Bears are making a sea change on defense yes. scheme-wise. They're going from a, an attacking speed 4-3 defense to a power 3-4. So, and although Vic still has attacking uh, concepts involved, but the, but the big people up front are vastly different than what the Browns had. And Vic likes veterans because it, it, it's difficult to translate the two situations without a veteran guy on, at each level and to step in and help with the transition. So look for them to add a veteran guy at linebacker. Look for them to add a veteran guy in the back end so they can act as Vic's translators. And Vic 